Hi, my name is Stephanie Rose, and I'm a food stylist and chef, and I have been for 10 years. I have studied in culinary arts in New York and in France, and I have been fortunate to work with some world-renowned chefs and work at some top restaurants. My friends always tell me, how does your food look so beautiful and taste so great? I tell them it's very simple. It's all in the basics. It's technique and it's good ingredients. My mother and my friends urged me to take part in this contest so I could help other at-home cooks. Today, I'm going to do a classic French dessert, clafoutis. And this you can find in almost any good French cookbook. Believe me, it is as simple as could be. It's a pancake batter poured in a dish over fruit, baked in an oven at 350 degrees. Et voila! It's beautiful. It looks like a tart, and it's usually served warm. Now, the key elements are the selection and the preparation of the pears. Choose a perfect pear. Now, I like Anjou's, but you can use Bartlett's or any other kind. First, we have to prepare the batter. So get a bowl, and we're going to whisk together three eggs, some sugar. We can just dump it all in. One and a quarter cup of milk. And whisk, whisk, whisk. Melted butter, vanilla, pinch of salt, and let's gently whisk this in. And finally, the resistance is the star anise. A star anise is a fantastic Chinese spice that has a licorice flavor, and I love it. Now, once this is all mixed up, get rid of the lumps, put it aside, and let it rest. Now we have to prepare the pear. We're going to put the pear in a buttered, sugared dish, and we're going to fan it out so it looks beautiful. Now, we, first we're going to peel the pear, which of course I've already done, cheating, and I'm going to use my little melon baller, because it works beautifully, and it keeps it looking great, and it also cuts, so we take out the core, comme ça, and then we're going to slice it and try to keep it in its original form because then we're going to place this in the bowl, fan out with the top pointing towards the center. And then I just, look, it's awfully slippery. And then we put this in the bowl like that and put it in the oven and bake it. Now the sabayon can be... Papoutis can be served with a lovely sabayon sauce that's made with eggs, sugar, and booze. I'll show you that next time. I promise you can do this too. <laughs> I'm Stephanie Rose, and thank you for watching.